Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue to our next fight. Will be Fazli Nazir versus Ravi Jadav in the bantamweight category. We have Raj Ravi Jadav coming out of India from Team Relentless, and we have Fazli Nazir coming out of Sarawak. I am your commentator for this fight. My name is Daniel Chi, and you're watching under MMA South Paul Malaysia. So Ravi Jadav, very similar to his counterpart. Um, Sahil Dahia coming out of Team Relentless all the way from Mumbai Ravi Jadav also a heavy wrestler if I'm not wrong Ravi Jadav has already secured some great accolades over in India and Ravi Jadav now straight into cage control picks up Fazli Fazli coming out of Sarawak from Team Warmonger. Uh, over there, they're very well known for their mixed martial arts. You have uh, great fighters known as uh, Nigel Lakai and also Nathaniel Lakai. Nathaniel Lakai, the Mima Season 5 champion. So obviously, Fazli has great teammates over there to work with him. I've watched Fazli fight before. He fought one of my good teammates, Jonathan, and he has really good uh, wrestling scrambles. Really exciting to see how he will go up against Ravi. Um, Ravi, however, very relentless. Again, no pun intended uh, from the gym he comes for. Um, Ravi, obviously, very strong on the wrestling. I've seen him uh, take uh, take down who's that? Uh, Afendi Kalai before. I picked him up really easily, and he has really good uh, cage control. And they're very similar when it comes to these wrestlers. Uh, whenever they fight, they tend to love control. So all they do is that they, they, they go for that takedown and then they just control and ground and pound from there. It's a very Khabib-esque kind of style, um, a GSP. So it's really, um, not to say easy to, ex to execute, but it's definitely a safe a strategy of what you can say. Because you don't have to risk getting punched because obviously this is a Grand Prix, very similar to Mima, very similar to um, other, other tournaments around the world. Um, that means they have to fight one month after the other. Uh, that's me right there. But back onto the action. Fazli in the red gloves. Ravi Jadav in the blue gloves. Nice little jab into a low kick. Ooh, very long shot there, but definitely su successful. Ravi Jadav managed to catch on one of the legs and immediately into a takedown. Final 10 seconds of the very first round. Ravi already securing probably two takedowns at this point and making his third takedown. Superb performance from Ravi Jadav. Back into round number two. Nice low kick there. I think at this point, I remember I told for this fight, but this fight is pre-recorded by the way. You can see me uh, hit the corner there, but... I remember I, t I told Fazli in this fight to go for those low kicks. I want to really test uh, on the conditioning for for Ravi when it comes to the kicks. So far, Ravi really takes those kicks like like a superhero. Like he can just eat those kicks because I remember when Fazli fought Jonathan. Um, Fazli tore up Jonathan's leg really badly to the point where Jonathan couldn't box anymore. So that's something really of a high quality. Sorry, a good trait from Fazli to have. And again, with those low kicks, I told him exactly for this round, he should opt to try for those low kicks because he has good scrambles. Like you can see that, Ra um, oh my goodness, but Ravi is absolutely strong. I remember when he did this takedown, I was so surprised and I was so impressed by how strong Ravi is. It's a bantamweight fight, guys. These fighters, they're, they're fairly in the lighter weight category, but... Absolutely great wrestling displayed here from Ravi Jada. Fazli trying to get some punches going on. Ravi immediately. He doesn't, he doesn't even go for the legs. He's just straight up from the hip. And he powers through by pulling his opponent down from the cage. Again into control.
bit of story of uh, of Ravi's gym, Team Relentless. They have a very good, a very good, a, one of the one of uh, the best, one of the best uh, pro fighters in India. So they train. Uh, that guy trains in uh, Team Relentless. His name is Chaitanya Gaval. He fights over in Brave Fighting Championship. Uh, Chaitanya does come down to Malaysia several years ago, and he used to teach around here. And I actually met Chaitanya before, and he is a really good, really high level grappler. So his his wrestling is tremendous, and I think he's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. So I wouldn't be surprised that these guys from Team Relentless have amazing ground game. In with the shot, I'm really quick to react though as uh, Fazli sprawls amazingly. But the way Ravi goes for, the way he cuts the corners and takes and takes Fazli up against the cage, that's just superb. Ravi going for opting to knee his opponent on the legs, wear him up, wear, wear him out. Maybe final 10 seconds of round number two. And that concludes this round. We'll see if round number three will be any different for this fight. Continuing back onto the action, we have Ravi Jadav in the blue gloves and we have Fazli Nazir in the red gloves. Never mind guys, you're watching under MMA Southpaw Malaysia. We go around, we go around um, as much uh, events for mixed martial arts around Malaysia, so we try to do as much coverage and stuff like that. And this is our, this is well, this is our coverage for Octagon Asia. We do a bunch of videos, we highlight videos. And right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do something new with the commentary videos. I know I enjoy doing commentary. Oh, nice low kicks there from Fazli. I remember in this round I told Fazli to really go for those low kicks and not hesitate at all because I know his kicks are fast. And bear in mind like Ravi is not catching these uh he's not catching his takedowns through the low kicks, like he's just powering through. Oh my goodness, Ravi is just so strong. But yeah, he doesn't really catch Fazli's low kicks so easily, so that's why I told Fazli to just really go for those kicks as fast as he can. But Ravi obviously great wrestling, probably has been wrestling like for a very long time. Just definitely outpowering his opponent. I can certainly see Ravi might actually win this tournament because of um, his great wrestling capabilities. I have yet to see um, a Malaysian that can actually deal with this kind of pressure, especially when it comes to like, because I've seen, I, I went to IMAF before and uh, I see like the Russians and uh, the Russians, the Bahrainians, and I see a lot of these high-level amateur fighters. A lot of them really emphasize on the wrestling because if you can control your fighter on the ground like that, it's safe to say that you could get a win pretty easily. So that's why a lot of the high-level amateurs around the world, they, they rather uh, focus on the wrestling than to do any much more on the striking. The striking is more just a setup for the wrestling. Swinging of a left hand. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, if my phone goes off. Another low kick. At this point, I th I think at this point those low kicks are starting to hurt. But Ravi is a super strong man. Again, the deep shot. Absolutely, just spears through to catch on those hips. And he latches onto Fazli's legs so tight. It's really hard to get through. Oh, I can hear Ravi screaming. Obviously, this kind of tactic can be really detrimental because it's going to use up so much of your energy. Because you're using a lot of force going off for these takedowns. But Ravi's stamina and his cardio has shown great potential. But here we go, final 10 seconds of the third and final round. And that concludes for this fight. Guys, if you enjoy the content, do hit the subscribe button if you're watching over in YouTube. And if you're watching over in Facebook, do hit the like button. A few bit of support means a lot to us. And thank you very much for watching from MMA Southpaw.